so hi guys I'm having some technical issues with the YouTube so I don't know if someone is there waiting for it but it will not, will not have any luck I will we'll speak in English because I don't know who is seeing the video and it was not very easy for me to see good examples of this kind of shows in the internet what I actually found was a lot of youtubers and most of the youtubers my age there was one thing that I learned from them that was using a cap you see just to look younger but I don't think it works for me so <laughs> let's start let's get serious now the idea for this exhibition actually started like two months ago when all this craziness started Oof. I, must be two months. I had the idea to start an exhibition that everywhere, everyone from everywhere could visit it safely from their homes. And so I contacted Noble Quad for this partnership. I had the description the way to their website on the on the YouTube, but if you search on Facebook, you'll find them easily. It's Noble Quad, and they did this fantastic work with this virtual reality. I only designed it because all of this work was made by them. But I'll try to explain them. I will not get very deep into all the pieces, into all the rooms, to not bore you guys and not to be like a very long conversation. But uh, what I really wanted to show, besides of course pieces and my spaces, was the possibilities that this kind of technologies can bring to, to your business, to your artworks, it depends on what you want to show. Because I think nowadays people are really open to this kind of ideas. If I shown something like this like two months ago to a boss of a factory, it would laugh in my face because it was crazy. Everyone wants to touch pieces they don't want to see in virtual reality. But nowadays I don't think we have any choice. This means we need to be creative nowadays. So let's start to talk about the In The Cloud. The exhibition is called In The Cloud because there is it's literally in the cloud. If the internet goes offline tomorrow there will be no trace of this exhibition so it's a virtual reality exhibition the name was inspired there and I went a little bit crazier than normally what I would do in a reality reality exhibition because of prices because of physics of laws all that things and I started this exhibition with this good vibes neon corridor what I did was kind of doodles of feelings that I was having during my quarantine and things that I've been doing like eating a lot of junk food you see being frustrated about the future but also feeling hopeful and feeling the love of everyone around us it's a strange time but we need to overcome it and I'm sure we'll do and I key here on the back of us is a no turning back sign this because there is really no turning back now there is no entrance and no exit door you just pop up right here and you start your exhibition so what I really wanted in this first frame was this corridor and in the end a big big piece for a catchy that would catch your eyes. In this case is King. King is an homage to all the pieces of art that was censored sometime in their history and thanks to that censorship they turned into timeless pieces of art. If they were really accepted, really fast accepted by society or by a strict regime, they wouldn't be as meaningful as they were. So King is like an, a nod to that kind of pieces. On top of it, we have Guardaluz. Guardaluz is a chandelier. I wanted to do like a dramatic chandelier in here on top of the piece, but I didn't want to be one that would catch too much of your attention. I want it to be dramatic but subtle and in some kind of way just to catch your eye to the main piece that is king. And I can really see any kind of decorative piece here if it's big. I really see it coming highlight by this chandelier. So I think it's doing its job very well. We will see it later in, an, in a different room and you'll see the difference. I don't know if you guys are tired, if you guys want to take a seat here. I'll try not to move too fast the movements because I think in the streaming doesn't show that well. If you guys are not tired, let's go to the next room. Hey, my sister is watching me. Welcome. <laughs> so in this first room, um, I fully dedicated it to Toru. 
tour is one, one, one of my novelties. I presented it at EDF in Esponor, in a national show in Porto. And Toro is bull in English. What I wanted to do with this piece was try to capture the, a strong silhouette of this animal, the bull, and bring it to an armchair, a statement piece kind of armchair. And as you can see here, I used it also, the back of it and the horns, as a decorative piece. And it kind of works in this set. The set was inspired in like the 60s TV shows. And of course, I made it a little bit more minimalistic than in these tones of colors. But the, this decorative piece really worked here. And I, I don't know if you guys can see it there, but the textures look really, really well here. I'm, it's a pity that it's not on YouTube, because I think on YouTube the streaming would be way better in terms of quality. I don't know if you guys are seeing the quality or not, just let me know if I'm moving too much, if I'm not moving too much. So what I did present in Eshponor was the armchair, and like I told you guys before, digitally you can do everything. In this, in, we did all of this in one month, and in one month it would be impossible to have all these novelties and present Oh, okay, thanks, thanks. Obrigado, uh, sweet. All these novelties, it would be impossible to do them, and of course, it wouldn't be cost effective too to produce all of this and then just to see the feedback from your clients. And I think virtual reality is a good option to, like I said, to all creative kind of businesses. You see, this bar share is a novelty too. Here we have the sofa. Yeah, and this piece now is commercialized by Alga is one of the partners of this exhibition, is suffering some minor changes to be more commercial and here is a little bit more artistic but it will come like next month I hope at least well let's keep up the pace and head up to the next room I don't know if you guys have any questions just let me know if not I'll continue doing this okay in the second room what I did was a kind of a display a showcase of small decorative objects that I've been doing along the years and this first one is Zoo. First time I presented Zoo was in the Show Me Gallery in 2015, I think. And it's a porcelain piece with gold details, glass, colorful glass in the middle. It's a zoo combined animals that you can combine the base with the middle and the head. Each one of them fit each other, so you can go crazy with your zoo. And we have here a rabbit, a monkey, a howl, and a giraffe. Oh. Uh, okay, I'll try to not move too much then. Okay, uh, I was saying about the pieces, that's it. Uh, all the information is actually in the website. I'll not get too long in the, into the pieces. It's just to show you how it looks here. And you'll be able to visit uh, the exhibition with the click-through like Google Maps. I'll show you later how to do that. Okay, on the back of the zoo you have here the modern gargoyles. The first time I presented them was actually just the clown in his Salon Satellite in his salon in 2017. Uh, with time the family grew and each one of these modern gargoyles represents a modern fear, a contemporary fear. Like eyes represent a fear of being watched, human, the fear of humans. But like I said before, all this information is in the website. I will not bore you with all the details. All I want to show you guys is how cool this exhibition looks in virtual reality. So, in front of them, it's the Z collection. The Z collection was presented this January in Maison et Objet by Manta. Manta is one of the partners too. Uh, the idea was to represent the spirit animals. I'll show a little bit closer here. The spirit animals, in which one is a, as a functionality. In case of this Z is a holder, in Eshponar it was holding my sketchbook. This Z over here is a mirror. And as you can see, all of them are here, like a lamp, a vase, candle holder, bookcase. Uh, you should check the website, all of them are there. If not in mine, at least in Manta's website. And they would be the perfect partner to do that guy over there. You see King. King would need to be done by them, because they're really good at what they do. And then in this fourth stop, in the last stop of this room, we have three new pieces from Vianalandia. In Vianalandia what I do normally is I buy pieces from flea markets and then I put them like giant heads of papier-marché like they use in the festivities here in my hometown. It's all inspired in my hometown actually, this collection. And what they do 
is there is a big parade where they dance with these giant heads and all of the collection comes inspired by by that festivity in here i did all in wood because i could go crazy as shit so i just wanted it and as you can see they have the giant heads but in here they tell contemporary stories like going to the stars an urban lifestyle being fragile like a book can tell a story just by its cover they tell a story just by being, being themselves wherever you put them so let's go to the last room and my favorite one I must say when I start thinking about the virtual reality the first thing I wanted to do is go crazy with all the lack of physics there is no laws of physics there is no gravity so why not go crazy what I did was this classic room upside down and using kaleidoscope as the main piece as you can see here and on on the bottom there is the evil eye rug not not in the bottom here is above it actually it's all of, everything is upside down and next to it you have the Surizo chair it's a new chair all of these pieces are again like I told you guys it, it will be in the website it is already in the website but right now it's password protected when this live show finishes I will put it open to everyone to see it so welcome to you are welcome to go there and you should go there because the technology there the VR technology there is way different than this one in some things is more limited but in other things is way more informative in here in the wall we have the giant head mirror again is inspired in the festivities of Viana do Castello I don't know if you guys can see the details in here like the face like this giant head on the wall is reflecting everything so it's not very easy to see the details and below it or on top of it again is the modular modular what I really wanted to do in the future with it is like an app that you could combine the storage units and the space unit and do it like as a Lego in this digital app and then you can order it as you wish and as we started with the Guardaluz, and I was telling you that in there it doesn't catch as much attention as it catches here because in here we didn't use any kind of inclination so in here is using as a dramatic really dramatic chandelier in there it's just giving more attention to the king so that's it I'll give just one quick turnaround I don't know if you guys do have any questions please let me know if not I'll just finish it with one big surprise that I've saved for the for the end sorry here in the beginning here you can see King I'll just get a little bit closer so you guys can see the details okay let's go here I'll stay here it's close enough so like I was telling you guys you should check the website because of that click through virtual reality it works almost like Google Maps and I'm always telling you this because there is one particularity in that virtual reality I hidden an easter egg in that virtual reality and if you guys find it is a secret button somewhere in the exhibition and if you guys found it you will check this room and if you find this room and you share it if you share it on <laughs> thanks Edgar thanks and if you share it on your Instagram post or an Instagram story by tagging Andre Tioman and Noble Quad you'll win a prize a prototype from the studio the first one to share will win a pico lamp the second and third one will win a pilrito from Tesouros do Barro I don't know if you guys can see who this guy is in this statue but it looks great right <laughs> okay I'll just show you how you need to go to the website in the website there will be this image that you click on it and you go to that virtual reality exhibition and then you can can just go to your treasure hunt and that's it I don't know if you can send me any email or anything with your questions no worries I'll just finish it for now thanks for being here I know it's Friday Fridays weren't aren't as fun as they used to be in the past but they'll come back, no worries. Thanks for being here. Oh, sorry, I was going to meet me at the website. I'll put it in the comments or if someone wanna, someone watching can put it there, it will be great. If not, I'll just put it there. Thanks, man.